If you can think of a, of a reason why you want us to stay, please, please let me hear it. Because what we've been hearing is that we're nothing but a burden to the United States. And uh, the exact opposite is true. Not only uh, uh, economically, but culturally, um, we're just a dominant state. Um, we're a global okay. powerhouse. Well, and, I'm not uh, against it. Well, keep telling yourself that. I mean, I'm not against I mean, I'm from California. My family's from there. I was just there, as I said again, uh, this morning. But it just seems like a big move. So let's get specific. If California becomes its own country, do you plan to give citizenship to the illegals within your borders? And do you intend to have a border policy as a country? Uh, yeah, certainly. Certainly we're going to have a border policy. Uh, um, if you're a nation, you need, you need your borders. Citizenship to illegals, uh, definitely a pathway to citizenship that's much quicker than what the United States has right now. Definitely, you know, we want them, they're already working, we want them working without that stress. Uh, they're a key and integral part to California. We, we, we really need them to, uh, they're the backbone of our economy, our, or the fifth largest economy, uh, and, and uh, they are really a big part of it. And so we want them to, uh, you know, be comfortable here and have a good path to citizenship. What about all the federal land in California, the military bases in California? Those don't belong to the state. Do you pay market value for those? So, yeah, the military bases uh, we lease out just like Germany does and South Korea does. Um, you just, you know, pay a, a yearly fee to, uh, to California. And as far as the uh, federal land, you know, it's Wait, wait, a, hold on. So I'm sorry to interrupt. So you would have foreign troops on your soil, Camp Pendleton. You'd have thousands of Marines from another country in the middle of your country. Why would you do that? Well, the United States does that to every other country in the, on the planet. Uh, well, and when we're invited in or we beat them in the Second World War, yeah, we do that. But why would California do that? Um, well, Europe, you're in, uh, you know, in Japan and in Korea, uh, you're here already. The United States military bases are here. Keep them here. If you, they want to slow withdrawal, they can slowly take their, their troops back, it's, uh, uh, their bases back. But um, I have no problem with the with United you're, States. You're using uh, the words here. they and you. It sounds like you already don't think that you're part of the United States. Uh, uh, well, this is California, Tucker. Uh, we're not the United States. We have our values are different. Um, we're we're fundamentally uh, different in the way we act, we speak, and how we think about the world globally. Whether it has to do with war, the climate, environment, we are just a different state. Um, it, it's it's, and I know you can understand it. You being from California, and I'm not sure how long you haven't been here yet, but we we are going to do things that are going to be beneficial for our state, and we don't. We disregard what the United States thinks, or even their laws. Uh, for example, our marijuana uh, sanctuary cities. We just, if it's good for the state, we're going to do it, regardless of what the federal law is. So. I mean, I, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to say. I think probably you're right in a lot of ways. California is its own country already because of its immigration policy. It's deeply depressing to me as someone who's from there, but I think you're telling the truth in a way, and I appreciate that. I wonder, though, my final question is, you've so mismanaged your little country or state or whatever we're calling it now economically there's been a massive exodus of middle-class californians to neighboring states well i mean the numbers are, the numbers are there i mean you've lost hundreds of thousands of people making between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars over the past ten years and they've enriched idaho and montana and even wyoming and washington state like if it's such a well-run place why are why is the middle class leaving so, Tucker, you have to look at the bigger picture here. So, uh, fifth largest economy in the world. Now, if you have to repeat that, say it again. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. Yeah, that's you want to call third, that mismanaged, fine. I, got, no, I mean, it's no. basically the economy of Mexico. You've got a small number of rich people, the tech people, and you've got a ton of poor people, and the middle class is leaving. Like, that's a recipe for instability. You're aware of that, right? The, in, in regards to middle class leaving, uh, that's actually a, a good thing. Um, we, we, need, we need these spots opened up for the new wave of, of immigrants to come up. It's what we do. We're exporting our middle class to the United States. You guys should be thanking us for that. Not only that, you know, when our middle class does move out to Texas and to Colorado, they're taking our values out to the United States and, and to Texas. So if you look at Texas, in fact, all the major cities that, that Californians are, are, are going to, they are turning blue. And soon enough, Texas will be a blue state. And uh, Dude. all of your, the red <laughs> states soon enough uh, I don't know. I don't know if this blue. is like a... I, I've never met you. I've never heard of you. I don't know. This is like a parody segment. You're, you know, you're punking me, or you're really high, and you're just telling the truth because high people do. 
But you just said you're happy to be exporting the middle class of your state. Now, I happen to think that your policymakers are happy that they're leaving, but the fact that you're admitting this on live TV, I, I, bottom line, are you being yeah, serious? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm only admitting the truth. Our middle, the, there's a middle class of people that are leaving California, and yeah. they're going to Oregon and Colorado right. and, and Texas. Yes, there is. Um, there, and you're happy about I don't that. know how. Well, I mean, if they want to move, I'm, there's nothing for me to stop them. I mean, uh, I'm... I'm sure they'll find out how boring it is and they'll come back. I, I don't mean, think so. I don't know, but I don't if they choose so. to live out there, they can live out there. Like, right, yeah. Okay. I may, what an amazing interview. Thank you. So, And I sincerely thank you for telling the truth. I appreciate it. Victor Davis Hansen is a senior fellow at the Hoover.